Associate Dean at the Medical School, Dr. Felicia Christians, said Namibians are unwilling to donate because of cultural and religious beliefs. We experienced tremendous challenges in getting donations of bodies, cadavers, for a dissection lab because of the cultural and religious barriers that still exist in Namibia. Namibians still today are even resistant to cremation. Yeah, they don't want to have their body. They want a burial. Yeah. They want a formal burial. But I think if we explain to them what the body donation program involves, they might be more open to it. There must be people in Namibia that would like to donate their bodies to science for the future advancement of our medical students. We need cadavers. We need body donations. They are treated in a very respectful and very dignified manner and we will be able to engage anyone that's interested to donate their bodies. And they, they need to put it in their will that this family is still alive and active but they, they're talking about we want to donate our bodies and they need to put it in their will. Dr. Christians also said that the school educates the family on the process when there is interest in donating one's body. She added that the body would be returned to the family for a traditional burial or cremation after students are done. We normally sit with the family, we explain exactly what is involved. The bodies are embalmed. Um, after the students are finished with the body by the end of the year, uh, the family can then decide to get the body back for a traditional burial or the body can be cremated and given back to them. But it's, it's all a very dignified process. We've looked at other innovative things. And again, when we visit the anatomy lab, three-dimensional printing, they're making models of things, etc. We, we've used many other teaching methods, innovative teaching methods, but we really need cadavers to do our anatomy training on. From 2016 to date, the UNAM School of Medicine has had 507 students graduate.